Welcome back, fam. It's Melanie here. Thank you for joining me for today's follow along workout. I always say this, but even more so today, I'm super excited for what we're gonna do today. Today, we're gonna be focusing exclusively on our abdominal muscles. And the best part about this workout is I've made it customizable and buildable. So we're gonna be doing four different circuits today. Each circuit's gonna be working on a different part of our abdominal musculature. The first circuit's gonna be working on our lower abs. Second circuit, will be working on our obliques. Third circuit, we're gonna focus on isometric holds. So it's gonna work the entire abdominal musculature in that. And then the fourth circuit will be cardio-based. A Little bit of something for everybody. Each circuit is six minutes long. Every circuit includes three exercises. Each exercise is, is 30 seconds long. After you do all three exercises back to back, we get a 30 second break and we repeat that three times. So when I say it's customizable and buildable, if you only have 12 minutes, you can pick and choose which circuits you wanna do. You might wanna focus on obliques and low abs. You do you, live your best life. That's the best thing about this workout today is it's gonna be completely customizable. Today's entire workout is going to be 24 minutes long, a little bit longer than usual. So if you only have time to do two or three circuits, you do you. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into that workout. For the first exercise, I'm gonna go ahead and, or the first circuit, excuse me, I'm gonna walk through all three exercises right before we do it. That way we can go, go, go. First move you're gonna do, a low ab walk up. Get on your back, belly button to spine. Press that low back into the ground. You're gonna keep that low back in the ground as you walk your feet out slowly and back. This one is not super difficult. I want you to focus on the low, lower abdominal muscles activating, so that's gonna be our goal. Move number two, we're gonna do a hip raise with the leg lower. So belly button to spine, low back pressed into the ground, legs up, you can have a slight bend in your knees, raise the hips off the ground, and then lower the legs towards the ground, and repeat. Exercise number three, we're gonna do two scissor kicks and an abduction. So you're gonna go like so, one, two, out, one, two, out, that's it. Those are the three exercises. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. 30 seconds, here we go. Low abs, that's the name of the game here. Belly button to spine, a low back pressed into the ground, walking the feet out and back in. This is a really great warm up exercise. It's not overly difficult, but as long as you keep that back pressed into the ground, you should be able to feel those low abs start to engage. Slow and controlled. You're gonna get really excited for this one because the other two are difficult. So this will be a nice little reprieve for us. Rest. Actually, I lied, you're not even resting. You're going straight into the hip raise and leg lower. Low abs are tough. Make sure when you're raising your hips and when you're lowering your legs that that low back is pressed into the ground. Slow and controlled here. Breathe through it. All right, two scissors. One, two, abduction. One, two. The abduction is also working our inner thighs, so we're getting a little bonus. A little bonus there. Remember to keep that low back pressed into the ground. Breathe through it. We have a 30 second rest coming up after this. Rest, 30 seconds. Now you get a feel for how these circuits are gonna go. Grab some water. Get yourself into position. We have two more rounds of these moves. So like I said earlier, this is completely customizable. If you wanna spend your entire workout just on the low abs, by all means, do this circuit more than once. Okay. Get in position, belly button to spine, low back pressed into the ground. Let's go, round two. Walk your feet out and then back. Do not be alarmed if this one doesn't feel super difficult. It's not meant to be incredibly difficult. It's meant for us to mind a muscle 
Think about what muscle we're actually engaging here. Those low abs, you can go ahead and put your hands on your tummy. See if you can feel them tensing, keeping that low back pressed into the ground. All right, hip raise, leg lower. Another key thing about this move, making sure that you're not using the momentum of your legs to get those hips off the ground. It's not about how high you can get them up, it's about using your abs to get them up. If you have any low back pain, make sure you reset belly button to spine. Okay, here we go. Scissors, abduction. If you find that your low back can't stay in contact with the ground, raise your legs up a little bit higher. To make it more challenging, lower them. Rest 30 seconds. Okay, one more round after this break. It's as simple as that. I also want to point out a little disclaimer. The core is so much more than just your abs. We've been over this before. And also strengthening the core is way more than doing crunches. Doing full body compound movements, squats, lunges, overhead presses. Those are all very helpful in strengthening the core. Okay, here we are, getting position. Low ab walkout, last round of these particular moves. Now. Good. Remember, belly button to spine. Really feel those low abs engaging. Breathe. Keep that low back pressed into the ground. All right, hip raises and leg lowers. So what do I mean by not letting your legs do the momentum? You don't want to start swinging the legs like this. That's letting the legs do the work instead of our abs. So we want to slow it down. When you're here, then raise. It makes it way more difficult, but also more effective. All right, scissors, abduction. Breathe through it. Remember the rules, if that low back starts hurting, raise the legs up. If it's not feeling any better, go ahead and pause. All right, rest. We have 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through our second circuit. We're gonna focus all on the obliques. So that's gonna entail a bicycle crunch and then a side supported plank, one on each side. So it's gonna look like so. First exercise, get into that proper position, belly button to spine, the back press into the ground. You're gonna do opposite hand, opposite foot. That's exercise one, a bicycle. Exercise two and three, we're gonna do a side supported crunch on your side like so. You're gonna bring your elbow towards your knee and then reach. 30 seconds on one side, switch to the other. Okay, our break is over. We're starting round two, giving the obliques some love. Bicycle crunches start now. To make this harder, Try and keep your shoulders off the ground the entire time. You could also do it this way. With this way, I find though that you wanna make sure you're thinking about bringing your shoulder to your knee and not your elbow. Keep breathing, keep going. All right, side supported crunch. Get right on into it reach and crunch. You're going to feel this on both obliques. Your glutes will also get some love here as well, which is great because they're part of the core as well. 
Less than 10 to go on this side. All right, switch. No rest for the wicket here. Here we go. Let's see if I can't knock over <laughs> my little plant. Really crunch in. It's all about the effort you put into it. Less than 10 seconds to go before our next break. Rest, 30 seconds. I am starting to get warm. Grab some water. Remember the first exercise, bicycle crunch, and then straight into the side, supported crunches. Halfway through that rest, 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds, let's go ahead and get in position. Bicycle crunch. Here we go. Over exaggerate that twist a bit and hold just for a slight beat. Slow it down a bit. We want quality reps here. Chest to ceiling. Try not to wrench your chin towards your chest. Side supported crunch. Here we go. I should have done my other side first, but oh well. Feel that squeeze. Reach, squeeze. Less than 10 seconds to go. Switch. Hop on over quickly to your other side. And here we go. Make sure that that shoulder is stacked over your hand. Halfway. Seconds left, y'all. We can do this. Rest. Ooh, 30 seconds. And then one more round. This one is killing me. Abs are tough. One more round after this. So I kind of mentioned this before, but crunches are not the only way to strengthen the core. So just please remember that. You can do as many crunches as you want, but to really, really, really engage that core and strengthen it, we need to be bracing it during our full body functional movements. Here we go, three seconds left. Starting with that bicycle. Last round, here we go. Breathe through it. So important with every exercise, but abs especially, that you're focusing, you're being intentional in that movement. We wanna make sure that we're letting our abs do the work, not our hip flexors, not our back. All right, switch, side supported crunch. Hop on over. Don't hit your elbow to your knee super hard, because I'm doing that and it hurts. Crunch. Feel it, you're gonna feel it in the obliques here. Less than 10 to go, five seconds. Switch. Last one before we get a break and move on to different moves. Here we go. This one doesn't need to be fast either. Pay attention to what it is you're actually doing. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Holy cow. Burn, burn, burn. Okay, 30 seconds rest. We are moving on to our isometric holds. These are my favorite, but they are very, very difficult. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move my water out of the way. Excuse me, I'll adjust the timer. We're gonna do a plank hip dip to begin. 
So you're gonna start in a forearm plank position, and then you're gonna drop the hips side to side. So it's nice to let your hold with a little bit of a twist, literally, with that hip dip. Move number two, hollow hold. You're gonna be on your back for this one. This one is gonna be brutal. Belly button to spine, low back into the ground. Legs up, chest up, and hold. You can hold here as well. The lower your legs are, the more difficult it's gonna be, but you have to keep that low back on the ground in order to make this effective. Move number three, back into that plank. A plank hold with a rocking motion. We call this a plank seesaw. This one's killer as well. All right, y'all, we got water. Moving in, circuit three, isometric holds. Just to reiterate, this is working. All of those abdominal muscles, especially those deep internal muscles that are really hard to reach, when we are holding that movement, it's forcing them into action. Okay, now for me yapping about, we're starting with those plank hip dips. Here we go, round three, forearm plank. Dip those hips. If this is hurting the back at all, just pull the forearm plank. This is also from sneaking in some obliques here. Your hips do not have to touch the ground, you'll notice mine are not. Woo! All hold, flip on over. into the ground, hold. Watch that chin, make sure your neck isn't here. You're leading with that chest. It's okay if those, you have a slight bend in your knees. I have really tight hips, so if my legs are straight, I tend to get a little bit tight. If that neck is bothering you, put your hands behind your head and let it rest. Give it a little pedal. Breathe, you need to reset, reset. Low back in the ground. All right, flip back on over, plank seesaw. This one's brutal. Here we go. These holds are so effective, but they are challenging. Less than 10 to go here. Rest. Wow. This is so killer. If I'm being honest, I hate <laughs> doing abdominal work. I hate it, I hate it, but it is important, so that's why I do it. And that's why I thought it'd be more fun if we did it together and follow along. 10 seconds left and we're going into round two of circuit three isometric holds. Five seconds, starting with those hip dips. Here we go, drop the hip, back to center. Take out the dip if this feels uncomfortable or painful on the joints in any way. Listen to your body. You'll notice I'm not talking as much as we do days because I need all of my energy, all of my focus on what it is I'm doing. Five seconds. I'll hold. Hop right on over. Low back, press into the ground. Hold. If you have your hands behind your head, make sure you're not wrenching your neck at all. You're using it as a support. And readjusting my low back wants to get involved here. Shoulders off the ground. Whew. Plank seesaw. Here we are. Watch the neck here, make sure it's neutral. It's in line with the spine. Three, two, one. Holy moly. We're almost there, fam. One more round of these moves, and we're finishing it off with a bang with some cardio. Whew. This is challenging, but it's important 
to challenge ourselves, challenge our body. 10 seconds to go. I think I can get water in this time. Okay. Hip dips in three, two, one, go. We're done, we're resting, but that was brutal. Okay, y'all. One more circuit left. We have one more focus. Cardio. Whew. So you can, uh, if you're gonna do this on your own and you wanna mix and match these circuits or do two and one or what, however you wanna do it, this cardio piece is obviously optional. You can put it in the beginning, you can do it throughout. It's totally up to you. This one is going to be brutal, but in the best way possible. I am actually going to move my mat just because we're gonna be doing some jumping moves and it tends to move around. I mean, I don't have to deal with that. Now I'm gonna show you what it is we're gonna do really quickly so we can get right on into it and not lose a lot of time here. First move, we're gonna do a blast off mountain climber. So, High plank position, blast off, four climbers. That's move number one. Move number two, super brutal, plank jacks. I'm gonna move my water. You're gonna come out and then jump to the side, out and then jump to the other side. And then last but not least, we're gonna do our reverse plank kick while you in a reverse plank position. You're going to be kicking opposite hand, opposite foot. This one is going to be killer. We're gonna push ourselves out of our comfort zones. Without any further ado, let's just get right on into it. Blast off climbers. Here we go. Blast off. One, two, three, four. Two more rounds, y'all, we can do this. 
Enjoy this little break. We have 20 seconds left. We're gonna start back in with those horrendous mountain climber blast offs. That's uncomfortable, but we got it. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Round two, blast off. Climbers. So y'all know this is absolutely brutal. 15 seconds to go and then just one more round and then we're done. <clears throat> Five seconds. Can't put this off any longer. Get in position. Here we are. Blast off. Climbers.